All right, as we can see now, let me kind of move this out of the way. We have our figures uh, pretty good shape. Now we'll go to the uh, the facial work and the hands. That's always the last thing that I like to do because it's it helps me get everything kind of in perspective of what I want to do. Of course, I use the um, the water with the flesh color. Now, a lot of people make a mixture of flesh that is very, very nice uh, with white and red and stuff like that. I just use the flesh color and then I add my mixture of red to it to kind of accent the face. I think my antiquing solution does that also as far as I'm concerned. Once again, I am not a painter of bright colors. I like my figures to look old. I look I like them to look like they have not been carved yesterday. And um, that's why I antique them. I mean that's the purpose of it. Because I don't want them to look like they are doing the hands here. I don't like them to look like they are uh, just freshly painted. Set this aside. Let me go ahead and uh, do the same. Notice whenever I start with the flesh color, I save the uh, both figures at the same time when I'm doing the flesh color and when I'm doing the faces. back of the uh, hair with a little bit more white in there. Not quite the way I want it. Just a little bit more white. That's the one thing you can always go back and add a little more color. That's the good thing about it. And it sort of blends in. It doesn't just have this look to it that it's painted on. around the ear here.
Okay, now, let me get this a little bit more. Okay, now let's, uh, let me take a brown here. just a little bit. I mean the uh, now the brown is for the handle on the gouge. Okay. Now the mallet, and I'm gonna do the same thing with the handle on the mallet. A little bit of brown. Okay. And the mallet would be sort of a. I'm gonna I'm gonna use just a little bit of gray and black. Just a little bit of gray. As far as the mallet, I'm going to go ahead and just keep it kind of clear uh, when I dip it into the antiquing solution. All right, uh, let me get uh, my uh, case for these small figures <coughs> I take a safety pin and I bend it forward like this and I want to put a little white I'm going to take a little white and put around the eyes side okay and the same thing here to let that dry okay see around the eyes here and the same thing with the old man now I've got to let that dry before I put the eyes in so we have to let it dry 